if you love finding lots of different uses for one background stamp, then this video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel, and in today's video, I am sharing five different ways to use the new Simon Hurley Peel Apart background stamp called Plaid Builder. It's part of his amazing fall release, and I'll be using lots of the other stamp sets from the release to make these cards, but really what I wanna focus on is five different ways to use that Plaid Builder. So let's jump right into the first way to use this background stamp, which is to ink it up in two different colors and stamp it in two different directions. Whenever I'm using a red rubber cling mounted stamp, I like to use my original Misty. But in order to do that, you have to take either the black foam pad or if you're using a mouse pad like I am out of the Misty. And then I like to put my Tim Holtz Media Grip back in. You can stamp it with that in there as well. So this is the Plaid Builder background stamp. You can see that it's got a bunch of different types of stripes, widths, and even texture on there. And I'm going to ink it up with a color of Simon Hurley ink. This is Roar. And I'm doing a mixture of tap tap and kind of swiping back and forth to get a lot of ink on this stamp because I really want a good impression so I probably stamped it a few times. Then I'm going to rotate the paper so now the stripes are facing up and down on the stamped image and I'm going to stamp it again with another color of ink to create the plaid. Next up let's take advantage of that peel apart nature of this background stamp and remove some of the stripes to create a totally different looking kind of plaid. The stamp is still in my Misty on the Misty door. I'm just going to peel away some of the stripes so they are all just barely connected. It's almost like they're perforated edges. So you can peel any of them away. There are a few stripes that are connected that you can't peel apart, but most of them you can. And then I'm going to rotate the paper and then I'm going to put some of those stamps back onto the door and take different ones away. So it'll give you a totally different look here. So I'm using two of the thicker stamps and I'm going to use some Distress Oxide ink for a purple. And the reason I'm using Distress Oxide over the Roar is because an oxide will sit a little bit on top of the paper. So the purple and orange won't really mix together. It will just create this really great effect with the plaid. Another way to use this plaid background stamp is to stamp it in one direction with ink and then another direction with heat embossing. This time I have the full stamp back in the Misty and I'm going to stamp it with Love Struck. Then I'm going to heat set it to really dry all that ink good and I'm going to put a ton of anti-static powder on it. I've rotated the paper and this time I'm inking up the stamp with Versamark ink. I use my Debbie tool to get a good impression and then I'm going to pour embossing powder all on top. I used a ton of anti-static powder and you'll be really surprised to see that this embossing powder really only stuck where I wanted it. I'm gonna heat set it. It's a nice gold on top of that red. So it creates a really pretty Christmas plaid. You could do this with lots of colors of embossing powder and inks as well. In one of my previous Simon Hurley Lunar Paste videos, I shared that you can actually stamp and heat emboss on a dried lunar Lunar paste background. So let's use the stamp for that. One of my favorite tips from that video is to start with colorful cardstock. So I have colorful cardstock and I am just blending on top with a blending foam the lunar paste. And that just is much easier to cover up that colorful cardstock than it is to create that metallic background on a white cardstock. So I just want to make sure that this whole piece of cardstock is fully covered with a decent coat of lunar paste. I don't want it so thin that there's too much streaking, but I don't want it so thick that it's chunky or textured. I'm really looking to create my own metallic paper background. Once I'm done there, I set that aside to fully dry. It doesn't take that long, as long as you would think. Then I'm gonna put a bunch of anti-static powder on it and make sure you get lots of powder on there. And then I'm going to stamp this with Versamark ink. Again, this time I only did one direction of the Versamark and no ink underneath. So it's just 
the lunar paste and then the stripes on top. So that's another tip is that you don't have to create the plaid if you don't want to. You can use this to create really pretty striped background. I covered this with a gold sparkle embossing powder. So the gold sparkle on the background that looks kind of like gold metallic is such a fun, shiny combination of glitter and metallic. If you've seen my other Simon Hurley stamping foam videos, you know I love stamping foam. So let's combine this stamp with the circle stamping foam. First, I'm gonna ink up the stamp with Simon Hurley Clear Skies ink. And you can see that I'm stamping on a six by six piece of cardstock. I do that so that I can cut down the areas that maybe I don't get the best impression on the edges. Then I'm gonna take out all the large stripes and I'm gonna heat up my circle stamping foam for a good 10 to 15 seconds with my heat tool. You want to make sure it's good and hot all around and I'm going to press that into the stripes that remain on my misty door there and you can see it makes a really great impression. I'm going to add it to the Simon Hurley large acrylic block with some tape just to hold it in place and I have it in a direction where I can easily line up the lines on the acrylic block with the lines on the stamp so that my stamped foam will go in a different direction, creating plaid in a circle. So I'm gonna rub some ink onto the stamping foam and then I'm just gonna spritz it just a couple of times with some light mist of water just to really activate that ink. And then I'm gonna flip it over and see how the lines on the acrylic block go up and down in the center. That makes it really easy for me to line up in the center of that stamped background. And now in the circle, I have a plaid. Now that we've created all these fun, fabulous backgrounds, let's turn them quickly into cards with the rest of the Simon Hurley fall release. For this first card, I'm gonna start with the stamp set, Friendship Florals. I love the sentiments in this set and the flowers are amazing as well. So I'm gonna stamp the outline in black ink and then the stamp comes with stamps to fill in the openings. This is the easiest way to create a stamped and colored in image. So you get the look of the black outline and then the colored in image without doing barely any work at all. And I'm using my Misty to line things up and get it straight into the spots where I want them. So there are stamps to color in the main leaves of the flower, the smaller leaves on the smaller flowers, the main flower and the two smaller flowers. So I did all of those with different colors of Simon Hurley ink and look at how quick that was. I did fussy cut it out and then I took a sentiment stamp from the stamp set and stamped it in black ink over the plaid circle, cut that panel down to four by five and a quarter and then popped up that fussy cut out flower image to wrap right around the corner in the top left. Such an easy card to create, but I love the way this one turned out. The next stamp set I'm gonna use is called Happy Fall. So there are a few images that you can color in that are outline images, and then there are a few images like I just shared with you that have the outline and the solid image stamps to color them in. So I did stamp everything in black and then filled in those pumpkins. And then I'm gonna just color in quickly this basket of pumpkins to include on the card as well. I'm using my Artix markers and I am just doing some basic coloring where I'm using the lines that have been drawn from the stamp to figure out where to put my darker marker. So I'm really only using two, sometimes three, but mostly two colors per image and just filling in, like I mentioned, using those lines from the stamp to figure out where to put a little bit of shading. And then I'm just gonna fussy cut everything out. I did take a sentiment from that same stamp set and I decided to stamp and heat emboss it. It says sending pumpkin spice and everything nice, which I cannot wait. I cannot wait for the fall. I am so excited for the weather to someday cool down. We'll see. So I cut that down to about four inches wide to match my four by five and a quarter panel that I used that green and orange plaid that we created. And then I'm just gonna pop up the pumpkin basket and the two pumpkins on the side. Again, these backgrounds look phenomenal but are so easy to make with that stamp set. The next stamp set is called Spread Your Wings and it is super sweet. 
the sentiments, the images, everything about it. So there's an outline image for two birds on a branch. I chose to work with that. I stamped that in black and white, and now I'm going to multicolor stamp the two bird images. So I'm using a couple of Simon Hurley inks and I'm going to stamp the top in blue and the bottom in yellow where they cross over they'll create this really bright pretty green and you can see that I just smooth out the lines with my fingers so there's no harsh lines on that ink there then the other parts of the image I am just going to color in with some Copic markers nothing fancy because these branches are pretty thin and the leaves are kind of small. So I will add a little bit of detail here and there, but mostly I just wanted to color those in. I did stamp a sentiment from the stamp set and on white cardstock in black ink and cut it down to like a sentiment strip. Then I'm gonna pop up that sentiment strip on the glitter and lunar paste background, which I cut down to four by five and a quarter and matted on some blue cardstock. Then I'm gonna pop up those birds as well and just trim off anything that was falling off the side of the card. Again, I love this, spread your wings and you'll fly. Such a great sentiment and I love this image. It's super sweet as well. The next stamp set is a really fun one. It's called Mythical Monsters. There's a whole bunch of different monsters. I chose one and the sentiment that says Happy Halloween and I stamped them together on some white cardstock. I'm going to do some very, very basic Copic coloring. You can see that what I'm doing again is using the lines of the stamp as the darkest parts and then coloring in with a lighter color just to blend that out a little bit. I'm gonna use a purple on the belly and then a much lighter purple. You can pretty much get anything to blend, although some colors will be easier. You could see I had a little trouble struggle there, but I like the way it turned out and it was fun to color. So I cut that down to a rectangle. I'm just gonna pop that up on our purple and orange plaid background. Super simple to complete this card, but it's so much fun and I love the plaid background, so easy to make. For the Christmas background, I grabbed a flower from the Spread Your Wings stamp set and it is a flower that has the ability to fill it in with the solid image stamp. So I did that with Love Struck to make it really red. Now I know this flower is not actually a poinsettia, but <laughs> I am pretending that it is for this card because I'm going to use it on our Christmas background. So, you know, you can definitely think outside the box and create with flowers that really complete your card even if it wasn't meant to be that flower. And I love the way that that colored in, especially with the stamp in the center. I did use sending smiles across the miles as my sentiment. You could add a Christmas sentiment if you want. I thought this was nice for somebody who was far away for the holidays. But again, use what you have, color them in like you like, and complete the card in a way that makes you happy. I don't know about you, but I love when you can use one stamp in so many different ways that it creates completely different effects and looks for your cards. If you wanna see more about creating your own metallic backgrounds with Simon Hurley Lunar Paste, check out this video next. As always, I wanna thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. Soon. Loud and rude. Loud and rude. That's what happens when you film later in the day. Everybody's coming home from work and come on people, I know you're in a rush to get home, but like don't rev your engine right outside my window. <laughs>